Welcome back to Joe Bart's Goldfish ASMR. Do you ever just want to kick a baby in the face? Okay. We're talking about that. We're talking about that. Okay. I'm not saying I would ever willingly kick a child. <laughs> How do I lead into this? Would I ever want to kick a baby? No. I would never kick a baby. Semicolon, however, comma. Have you ever walked past, like, a toddler crying or being really annoying? And, like, you don't do it, but you just think to yourself, like, I could just fucking... Like, do I have to do the visual representation? Just, like... Just like you could just go and just fucking nail them. Like you could like punt them. I'm not saying I would. I would never do that. Chad, is that relatable? Like, I'm, I'm not saying I would ever kick a kid. But like, you walk past a kid. And you're like, oh, god damn. Like you could, like you're not saying you want to. But you're just like, think. It's like the same thing when you're driving. And like you're just steering and you're like, damn. I was on the way home. On the way home, I thought about this. I was getting my... I walk past them and wonder how far I could kick them. <laughs> Dude, I did this on the drive home. This is relatable. Once you have a car, you're, you're not going to do it. But like, I'm driving home from Walgreens, right? I just got my prescription. And all I'm thinking about is I could just fucking, just fucking, a car passes me. I could just wham and just like nail into a tree at any time. Like, I find that weird that like I could willingly just like, Crash. I've never done it, but like I'll be in public like just standing next to a random guy and I'm like at any moment I could willingly just go and just fucking deck him for no reason Like I could do that for no like no motivation Nothing remorseful against the person. I'm just sitting there like like I could like I could do it like that like it's weird how, like, we're, we live in a society chat where you don't do that shit, obviously. Just think about it. At any moment, okay, this is really bad, don't do this. But you literally, at any moment, could commit mass arson. At any moment. We live in a regulated society where you have a mutual agreement that you're not just gonna start burning the whole city down, right? So, like, you just don't do it. It's at any moment, you're just like, I could buy a gallon of gas, and I could just... Start throwing it like like but you don't do that, you know, I just watched Batman and there was a baby screaming the whole time Yo, I'm doing this shit if I'm in a movie theater and like I, a baby's in front of me Fucking crying. This is exactly what I'm doing to the chair Fucking I'm donkey. I'm donkey kicking that shit. I'm donkey kicking that shit when I was a senior in high school um, I would go to football games and I would stand in the front row. And whenever anything um, big happened and people were like cheering, I would chuck something full force behind me. But like directly up. I wouldn't like beam someone. I would throw it full force upwards and it would land on someone. And I used to do it with like water bottles and shit like that. And then they had no idea who it was. Like people, I would throw a water bottle like, like really high up. It would nail someone. And the kid would be like, what the fuck? And he would get mad. So fucking funny. Because they would just be like, who did that? And then one time they found out it was me. But like, I was still the same height as I, like, now that I was my senior year. And he just didn't do anything. He was like some, like, 5'7 fucking junior. He was like pissed. And then he, I was like, dude, it was me. And he was like, oh, why'd you do that? And I was like, my bad. And he was like, it's good, man. And he, he immediately went like, yoink, yoink, and just calmed down. Normally, I would throw things that would not harm people behind me like a water bottle like a bat like just bags like fucking food i would throw food behind me shit like that stuff that would like get you wet or get you covered in food it wouldn't hurt right and people would start pe i did this so often that people would start handing me shit to throw at people Joe, right which is weird that no one like on still no one knew that i was doing it because everybody would just hand me shit but it was usually in the front row anyways uh one time someone handed me a lacrosse ball and this is the last time I ever threw something behind me. If you don't know how hard a lacrosse ball is, oh my god, it is like a rock. It like it like and I I normally like without question, I'll throw it behind me, right? And they hand me the lacrosse ball and I look at it. And then I look at my friend. And then I look at the ball. 
And I'm like, Shh. I'm like, you really want me to throw this? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And so then I wait. They get a touchdown. And I'm used to things weighing lighter, right? It's very dense. A lacrosse ball is very dense. It's pretty heavy. It weighs like a two pounds, a pound, two pounds. It feels like it weighs a pound. It's probably not that heavy, though. I'm holding the ball. And I'm like, the whole time, I'm just like, do I throw this? And, <laughs> and we get a touchdown. Everybody stands up. I go, wham! And, but normal, like, here's the problem. Not only did it weigh really, really heavily, it, I also did not throw it up. Most of the time, I throw, like, an arc. This time, it was a straight beamer right at, right into the crowd. Like, normally, it's like, yeah, this time, it was, and it was like, I, like, chucked that shit. I didn't even know who it hit. At first, I was like, oh, my God, I threw that really hard. And my friend, in my head, I said, oh, my God, I threw that really hard. And my friend said, oh, my God, you threw that really hard. He actually said it. And I was like, oh, no. And then I turn around. And <laughs> this is the fucked up part. I turn around, some kids like this. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I hit him right here. Um, he was fine. He literally didn't go to the hospital and didn't do anything. He just got hit, like hurt. At the time, I didn't know that. At the time, I was like, dude, I could have pelted that shit hard enough to fucking, to fucking get him on concussion, right? So I threw that shit. Everybody's looking at him. The kid didn't know it was me. I walk up to the kid. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what happened? <laughs> I'm like, yo, what happened? He's like, bro, I just got hit in the head. I'm like, damn, dude, do you know who did it? And he's like, no, bro, it just it just came out of nowhere. And I was like, all right, bro, I'll just go fig I'll figure out who did it. And I just fucking left. <laughs> yo, I dead, I dead ass, dude. It was this, it was the biggest. It was like I, I felt so bad, but like it was also like dude, that was like the most menace shit I did in my entire life. That was the most menace shit I did. Like, I harmed someone unwillingly. Well, kind of. I didn't mean to hurt them, but I meant to throw it. Like, I literally was like, yo, bro, what the fuck? Like, who did that to you? Like, I can't believe that shit happened. It was so fucked. Um, but, like, the same game, some kid from a different high school was in our stands, and he pissed in a bottle and threw it at a girl. Open. And it went all over her. She started crying. So it kind of diverted. It was like 10 minutes after my incident too. So it kind of diverted like the possible like attention from me. And it moved towards that guy that threw a bottle of piss at someone. That was <laughs> that was like the one weirdest thing I ever had. At, like had been through at a football game. Chris, thank you for the fucking 300 bets. I was practicing lacrosse with uh, my friend. And we were throwing a ball back and forth with lacrosse. Sticks. I looked away for a second. He threw the ball and it nailed me straight in the face full force. Uh, my friend did the same thing when I was 12. He threw a baseball, and uh, my glove was here, and he threw it, and I was expecting it to go here, and it nailed me right in the eye. And then I went into the- I, and then, this is to show you how much of a bitch I was. I ran into the woods crying, and, and I just sat in the woods, and I cried for like an hour, and my friend laughed. <laughs>